Hello my fellow luxury loving friends, I hope you guys are doing well. I am back with another video and this is actually going to be a shoe unboxing and this is actually a very hyped up shoe at the moment and I'm going to tell you guys if it's worth the hype. So if you want to find out, keep on watching. But first, for those of you who are new here, hello, my name is Pacey and I do luxury videos, shopping videos, selling videos, and just a little bit of beauty from time to time. So if any of those topics sound like they would be interesting to you, then make sure to go down there, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for your support as always. I also post a lot of luxury fashion content on my Instagram and then mix in a little bit of lifestyle travel stuff. So um, make sure to go on my Instagram. Instagram as well to give me a follow, check out my content, feel free to DM me as well. I love talking about shopping, luxury, you guys know me. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are subscribed to me on YouTube are not following me on Instagram, so make sure to go do that too. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on into the video. So here is the box. I'm not going to show you the front because it has my address on it. But um, yeah, I actually purchased it in the Soho Prada store because they just have the most selection compared to a lot of the other stores. But um, yeah, I found quite a few different like hard to find pieces from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox. Um, you guys probably already know what it is. It is the hard to find Prada loafers. They're kind of, I think, sold out on the website at the moment. Or at least when I was trying to find it, it was sold out on the, on the website. And I had to try my luck at the Prada store. So this is actually the first time I've had anything shipped from the Prada store to me um the rest of the times i actually purchased in store and i brought it with me but it's interesting that they are uh what do you call that box is a very subtle it doesn't say prada or anything like that it just says p stores so you don't have to be scared of people you know like seeing a package and like you know targeting them because i know with like kylie cosmetics that happen i'm sure with all the like designer brands it probably happened before that's why they do this type of packaging but, okay, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys. So, the packaging is actually really, really well done. They have this Prada paper over it. And then, I'm just going to remove that. And then they have the paper bag inside the box, which I was pretty surprised by, but I love that because... It feels like you're shopping in a store when you receive um, the packaging like that. Okay, so I removed the bag from the box and now we can unbox it together. There's a little Prada bow right here, which is really nice because it really feels like you just bought this from the store. And the box is the light blue box, as you can see it peeking out. Okay, so here is the box. So let's go ahead and open it. As usual, um, we have the Prada wrapping paper or just, I don't know, tissue paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, mm, I can smell the leather. Ooh, divine. Okay, that's it. Here they are. Oh my gosh. I actually really like the white ones. They come in white as well. And I was having the hardest debate on whether to wait for the white ones to come back in stock because they didn't have the white ones in my size in the store. They did have the black ones in my size, thankfully. But um, I was thinking if I should wait for the white ones or just keep the blacks out instead of photo or video, if I have a video, um, of what the white ones look like. So you guys can kind of see and i think the white looks very good but you know i do feel like it might be harder to style year round like these are like truly classics they're not gonna get too scuffed up they're black they go with everything whereas the white one it's more of a vibe but um i do feel like it might get dirty a and b uh i feel like it is harder to match with outfits because it's much more of like a summer spring kind of vibe i think it's harder to wear white loafers in the fall and i specifically am very excited to wear these with white socks or white stockings to just give it that little bit of like french um nerd but chic vibe these are them they have the prada stamp 
on the inside. The size is like right here, so it's really, really hard to see what the size is. Bottom, there's the Prada stamp. It has a bit of a heel. I think this is probably about a one inch, one and a half inch heel. And there's this, I really love this detailing here. I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> but it just looks like a little, you know, like those dumplings where they like put the forks in. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And it gives it kind of like a more masculine um, vibe, which I do really like. And of course, there's that Prada logo right here and this like strap looking thing. Um, of course, it's not adjustable or anything, but yeah, really, really beautifully made shoe. I usually wear a size five and a half to six and these fit me. They are the tiniest bit loose, but because I have white feet, I wanted to go a half size up. I would have gotten a 36, but I just felt like I didn't want these to be tight. They look very, very stiff. And my Louis Vuitton boots are also very stiff. I got those in like a 36 and a half too, I think, or maybe 36. And they have not stretched a single bit. And sometimes they like rub against my sides. Apart from that, they're still very, very comfortable. But I didn't want this the same thing to happen with these. So I opted for a 36 and a half and I think I made the right choice. So if you guys are in between sizes, I definitely say size up. Um, oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Okay, let, now let's talk about price. Okay, so one thing I noticed was that I did not get the, I don't know, I don't know if this comes with an authentication card or anything, or even a style name, but I, it's not on the box. Um, I'll show you. It's like, this is just a plain box. So it doesn't have like the style name or anything on it. It doesn't have a care card for the for very strange reasons. So I was gonna tell you like the price and tell say that it's worth it because it's leather. But then I'm like, is it even leather? It definitely smells like leather. But I'm gonna check online. And it does say made in Italy, so that's great. Uh, assuming they're leather, I think they are, I'm pretty sure, but again, doesn't matter, I already bought them. So um, if they are leather, then yes, I think it's worth it. It's not the cheapest, but I do feel like it's very high quality. It's not gonna go out of shape or anything like that because it's a very thick um, and very structured shoe. So for that, I do think that it's probably worth the money and it is definitely a classic. Probably will wear well just because it is an all black shoe. Um, you know, the bottom is like such a thick sole. The sole, you don't have to be worried about it wearing out. So yeah, I think for 950 right now, I think these are for sure worth it. They're not crazy priced and they still um, make a statement without being too out there. So it's something that I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of. That's why I really do like them. The next thing is comfort. So these are actually more comfortable than I expected it to be because there is a built-in stretch here. So right in here, I don't know if I can show you guys. Okay, right here. There is a little triangular insert that it, you can see this that's moving. That's a piece of stretchy fabric. So it allows the shoe to stretch without like misshaping the shoe. So I think it's very well made. Design is very well thought out and they're actually more comfortable than I expected just because again, like I said, I feel like a shoe like that could cut you right all around here, especially right here in the front because um, it probably doesn't stretch, but because this one does, makes it so much more comfortable for walking in. Now, lastly, I am gonna do a try on for you guys and um, show you guys what they look like. All right guys, so these are the loafers. How cute are they? Um, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys a different view and um, with what I'm wearing, but overall, I think they're super cute. All right, guys, so now let's go into the final verdict. The verdict is I would highly recommend you guys purchase these. They are really hard to find. So if you can find them, get them. And again, more comfortable than they are. Reasonably-ish price, not terribly crazy. 
and I think they will stay in your closet for a long time. I think cost per wear wise, it's going to be really good. So yeah, definitely check them out. See if you can find them in your local product store. And um, yeah, if you guys want me to do a styling video with these, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And if there's enough interest, I will be happy to do a styling video with the Prada loafers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. That's always my goal. So if you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. I am going to try to upload more frequently now. But I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.